Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 20, valid parentheses. We are given a string S containing just the following characters. Determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. Open brackets must be closed in the correct order and every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. For example one, our input string is open and close parentheses and that is valid so we return true. For example two, we're given open and close for each type of bracket correctly and this is also valid so we return true. And for example three, our input string is open parentheses and then close bracket so we return false because this is not valid. Let's go through an example. In this example, our input string will be open curly bracket, close curly bracket, open parentheses, open bracket, close bracket, close parentheses. For this problem, we'll be using stacks. And a stack is a linear data structure that follows a particular order in which the operations can be performed. The order in which you can access items on your stack is LIFO, which is last in, first out. And you can perform push or pop operations on your stack push will put a new value onto our stack and pop will pop off the top value of our stack. So for this problem, we will be pushing open brackets onto our stack. And when we receive a closed bracket, we will pop the top value of our stack and compare it to our closed bracket we're seeing. And if they're the same bracket type, we'll know it's a valid set of brackets. Otherwise, it'll be invalid set of brackets. Going through our example, the first bracket we see is a open curly bracket. So we will push this onto our stack. Now we have a closed bracket. So we will pop the top value off our stack and compare it to see if it's the same bracket type as our current bracket. These are valid brackets. So we will continue through our string. Now we have an open parentheses. Since this is an open bracket, we will push it onto our stack. Now we have another open bracket. We will push this onto our stack as well. Now we have a close bracket. So we will pop the top value off our stack and compare it. These are a valid set of brackets. So we'll continue through our string. And now we have another close parentheses. So we will pop our top value off our stack again and compare. These are valid parentheses. And since we're at the end of our string, we know that we had a valid string because all of our set of brackets were valid. Let's go through another quick example. This time our string is open parentheses, open curly bracket, then close curly bracket. The first character is a open parentheses, so we will push it onto our stack. Our second character is an open curly bracket, so we'll push this onto our stack as well. Our third character is a close curly bracket, so we will pop the top value off our stack and compare. These are valid brackets, so we can continue. But since we've gotten to the end of our string and still have values on our stack, we know that these brackets in the string are not valid and will return false. Let's jump into the code. First thing we want to do is define our stack. Next, we'll define our map. And this will be used to link our closed and open valid brackets to each other. Now we'll want to loop through our string. Now we'll check to see if our current character is in our map. If it's in our map, that means it's one of the closed brackets. And if it is one of the closed brackets, we want to pop the top value of our stack and compare it to our current character. And if they're a valid set of brackets, we will continue. But if they're not, we'll return false. And if our character is not in our map, we know it's one of the open parentheses and we'll want to push that character onto our stack. And at this point, we're done with our looping and we will want to return true if our stack is empty. And we can do that by doing not stack. And this is pretty much saying if there's nothing left in our stack, return true. That's it for the code, so let's run this. Our solution passed, so let's submit. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.